Hi, everybody. Good afternoon. Good evening. And welcome um, back to our channel to a wonderful episode of Ocho Kitchen. Um, we're going to start with the me time. So let me start off with me. What's been going on with me? My, I'm, I am so, 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 so tired. Um, <laughs> I've been traveling out of my, um, what do you call it? Ojo, what do you call it? Time zone. I'm just traveling out of my time zone. So my body is so whack and everything. But um, I've been having both positive things, much, many, many positive things. A little snack happened a couple of weeks, but I'm good. Um, it's going to get better. The cup is always um, half full. So having said that, let me ask somebody else. So I will thank God for everything. So Benson, how have your week been? Splendid. Blended beautiful. And mama, I see, I see your crisscross, crisscross who make you jump on her, on her hair, which is so nice. It's so nice. Yeah, okay. <laughs> it's so been beautiful. a splendid, it's been a, yeah, thank you very much. Thank you, I did. It's been a beautiful week. Ask me what happened differently. Nothing. Life has been happening as usual, yeah. but it's been interesting. And yeah, hopeful. Thank God. It's been a lovely week. Yeah, quite relaxing. All right. And OJ, you wanna spill you wanna spill your week to us? Um, it's been a little bit cold because yeah. it snowed a on lot Sunday. Cold. It's a lot cold. It's, oh my goodness. It's I know where you Sunday, are it's it? colder than me, so <laughs> <laughs> but it's been fine. Um yeah. I'm resting for the two week back to back um yes. walking challenge that I did. So I had to bring down my step goal, but I've been walking every day still, but not as much as I used to. It's good it, though, it's it. good. I used to. Oh, I used to. I haven't, I haven't done that in the longest time. This Which is, is how I keep it up. Feet. Keep it up. Keep it up, babe. Keep it up. Don't Thank listen to your mama. If your mother eats 12 midnight, yeah, she wants you to start eating like that. Um, okay. Um <laughs> Ike, this is the first time, um, you can, Lee, this is the first time you're coming on time. You always come in like two minutes to our end show or you join us during <laughs> the overtime. This is your pretty early. Can you tell us how your week has been? And your uncle, my wife. Um, uncle Chuku is doing very well. Okay. Thank you. Um, Abu Abuja is very hot now. Um, they are one Ghana. Some of them are Jawala. Um, I know to ready. snatch your babes away from you. Yes, so you know me now. The male, the yaki. What about what with the title man enough? Don't you? I catch every go say I'm man enough. That's that's okay. I'm glad. I'm I'm glad we have a lot of men here. So yeah, we ready. <laughs> All right. Um. So the next one is um Ataibo. Yeah, hi. Hi, how are you? Me and you, <laughs> this is it. Me and you haven't, I don't think we've spoken. So how are you? How is everything? I'm, and I'm how is right. Easy? Tell Easy I'm everything. Right. He's, he's fine. He's, he's been unwell, but he's, uh, he's on the way to recovery now. So we'll tell him he'll, he'll get yeah. a massage from me. My hands what? are like healing fingers. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll let him know. Thanks. <laughs> so have your, your week. Uh, your week has week, been okay. My week has been fine. I'm trying to lose weight, but I've gone out to eat three times this week, so I don't know how that's going to work. <laughs> it's okay. So far, you eat. So far, you don't like. Some people say they gain weight during the holidays. They gain. They gain weight during. You know what I mean? Like when they go on vacation. So far, you eat like the like if you have a um a regimen that works for you with your weight loss. Even if you go out to eat like that, no, you'll be fine. When I when I say I want to lose weight, I'm saying it because people are saying it. I don't want to lose anything. Oh, I like okay. it on my I like it on my beach jiggle as I walk. You know, like, oh, I like all my beats jiggle when I walk, you know. Um, I finished my job on yesterday because I'm starting a new job in two weeks' time. Oh, wow, congratulations. So, yeah, thank you. So I'm having a week of fun. Yes. Pure, adulterated and unadulterated fun. Yeah. So if you're free, call me. Dun, 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 I'll, dun, I'll have fun dun, together. Dun, dun, dun. Yes. Am I invite? <laughs> That's beautiful. Congratulations. That's awesome. Thank you. Um, Oga Chris, are you there? Chris, yeah. I gotcha. 
Yes, any I'm charge sure. and bell? Any charge and bell? This the law, the law. did you did you put yeah, anybody in jail? Did you bail anybody? What tell us what what's happening in the DMV area? Um, I'm not sure. Ah, I can't. Okay, can I go? Benson. Oh, Benson, 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 yeah, we didn't see you last week or the come. My bad, my bad. So, so sorry. Um, yeah, my week was good. It's sunny and eventful. It's cooling down here, but the fun continues. Yes, uh, work wise, you know, it's a normal thing. And this is holiday period. Mm -hmm. So the festive year is kicking in Thanksgiving and all those now. So we're looking for the big eat. So okay. we have started eating. So um I thought about good luck on losing the way, but I'll be sending down some stuff. <laughs> Thank Atago you very much. She wants to lose weight and jiggle. She wants to eat a cake and have it. She wants to lose it and still jiggle. When is your Thanksgiving, Chris? On it's next Thursday. Thursday. On Thursday. Thursday. Uh, on our birthday. They will be celebrating me on that day. I know. On our birthday. Oh, yeah, it's your birthday. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, so we'll be sending down some turkey to you now. Mm, I'll, yes, sir. I'll be, I'll be waiting. <laughs> Okay. That's good. Yeah. Thank you. Um, I'm um, Chizo. Chizo, how are you and our chairman? Are you guys doing okay over there? Yeah. Good evening, everyone. Yeah. Good evening. Our chairman is okay. We're we're doing okay. Chairman is settling in into Nazareth. He had a bit of a hiccup earlier this week, but uh, oh, for real, <laughs> it's the usual thing, isn't it? It's always one thing or the other. And um, I had a deadline, and I've. Uh, Last week was a very stressful week for me, but I'm happy that it's come to an end. I'm, I'm glad it's the weekend. That's Bring beautiful. Bring new week and new challenges. Me too. Because you guys have to forgive me because my brain is still very, very slow. So any that <laughs> I do today, just know it that I'm so tired and everything. All right. So um, who else is here? Um, Florence, you want to tell us how your week was? Hello, everyone. Hi, Florence. How are you? I'm good. Nice to see our lovely and handsome faces once more again. Thank you. Likewise. Uh, yeah. You know, a little bit. Uh, you, are, you are seeing our faces, but we're not seeing your own. Oh, sorry, sir. I'll click on that. <laughs> <laughs> Don't mind me. <laughs> I'll still put on my uh, camera. Don't worry. Just in a few seconds. I just called me now, so I need to like tell uh, everyone has my weekend. Sorry, my week has been a bit busy. Thank God this weekend. Trying to, you know, relax a bit. But stay continuing. Okay. Nothing much. Just relaxing, my dear. That it's it's very especially at this age we need that relaxation. Thank you so much for that. Uh Pam Pam, you wanna run us um by a week real quick? Hi ladies, hi gentlemen. Hey, Pam, Pam, how are you? Everybody. Well, my week was okay as usual. Work, work, work. But thank God it's weekend. At least weekend. Bills, bills, bills. Wind down a little bit, you know. I have a wedding today, thank God. Oh, wow. I will go off a little bit. And see all the people. Yeah. Are you gonna see OJ's auntie? Um, <laughs> no, she's gone. She's gone back to Atlanta. Oh, she's back in Atlanta. Oh, yeah. okay. Our good right. time. Yes, sir. All right. Um, thank you everybody for joining us again once uh yesterday was um November 19th and it's International Men's Day. So we decided to do a show about men. So we, the topic of today is it's man enough. So I'm going to start with this quote. Boys will be boys, a common phrase used to describe toxic behavior that justifies the suppression of women, extreme self-reliance, and suppressing emotions for the sake of being a man. We are going to explore today what it really means to be a man from the men in the audience. So um, I'm going to start with asking my first questions. My first question is about the Me Too movement. I know growing up, even now at work, I get cat calls. Like I'll be walking down the street, you hear men say, you know, you know, you know, like make cat calls and, you know, they make, ooh, damn baby. It used to be known for us for many, 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 many years. We that grew up back home, I think here too, um, it was okay for people to, a man to, you know, say anything to a lady, you know, compliment a lady anyhow they felt like, but now, because of the numerous lawsuits and stuff like that, it's it's kind of a different um, climate. 
So I'm going to ask, um, how do you guys feel as men right now navigating this climate of Me Too movement with all these harassment issues? Chris, can I start with you? Sorry. Okay. When you say Me Too movement, what do you mean? I know the organization. I know. Yes, Me Too. Like before, like I said, um, men used to, you know, say, baby, look beautiful but now if you say certain things to women they might say it's sexual harassment so i know so many men are like cautious about you know complimenting women and you know being themselves as normal yeah yeah that issue comes up if it's in a work uh place environment you know when i'm uh, out here i say hey well you look good i don't think <laughs> sexual harassment comes up yeah. 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 Some women like the compliment, depending on the level. I think we like it. I do. So, uh, it's really a workplace uh, issue when you are in a workplace environment, especially when you have mm -hmm. a superior officer or a superior, but the boss and the employee or so the subordinate. Mm -hmm. You have to comport yourself and be professional, even before the Me Too movement. Uh, but yeah. it still goes on, you know, uh, all around. But you just have to, when you're in the work environment, you have to. So do you still, it has prevented many men, like from, like you guys talk amongst yourselves and everything. Do you think it has prevented so many men from being who they are? Like, you know, some men are naturally, you know, they like to compliment, they like to say things, they like to cut calls. They like, they, do you think this me, move, me too thing has like, you know. Uh, it still goes on, but the, but the thing is, I. I know it's me too movement, but it's gender neutral. Yes. Because we've had uh, women, oh, hey, hon, hey, this. We just don't take I it. I do that. Mm -hmm. I like you, you look this, this good. We take it. But when you say it to somebody, that person doesn't appreciate it. It becomes kind of sexual harassment. Yeah. Even when it's coming from your boss. Because if I go now and say, hey, you look good, why, why am I sexually harassing you? You're not going to get anything from me. Exactly. So, so, but it's always good when you are in a professional environment, you know, uh, you behave uh, accordingly. You don't have to do that. Uh, uh, even before the movement, it's always the advice of doing it. Yeah. Okay, thank you so much. Okay, I you are in Nigeria. Um, so, I know Nigeria still, you know, is still a way of life for you know to say anything to a lady if she's British. Like, damn, that ass and stuff. Do you still? I know. I don't think the Me Too um infiltrated into Nigeria. Do you guys have an issue with like women say, oh, don't say that, or it's still normal? Yeah, I think it's still normal. Actually, are you there? I can. Call him Ikenna. Oh, Ikenna. <laughs> okay. No, I can. Even the sister, they confused. Oh, yeah, about I can. No, since all the small, I cannot. We have never called him Ikenna. Yeah. yeah. Ikenna. I've always called him I. They've always called him I. Yeah. I saw him. Ikenna, talking. you there? I saw him talking. So apparently he's on a call. Okay. That's why he put up his Otto. video. Okay, Frederick Arthur, are you here? Um, yes, I'm here. Yeah, yeah. Hi, good afternoon. Can you tell us where you're calling from so I can tell all my questions where you are? Yeah, I'm, I'm calling Abuja, Nigeria. Okay, so, okay. We're talking about like um, before men were able to talk to women, and like, you know what I mean? I like your ass, I like this, but it's been an issue for the longest time. Did anything change in Nigeria or is still the same status quo? I think it's, it's the same. It's the same. It, it, it has not really changed that much yet. Bear in mind that um, lawsuits. <laughs> And all those um, court things is not really as developed as um, other places. Ladies, so yeah. yeah, ladies are still wouldn't mind having um, compliments from from gentlemen. So yeah, the status quo hasn't changed at all. It's still missing down here. And the women love it. So I, like I know for me personally, I love it. I don't have any problem with it. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I agree. All right, thank you. All right, let me go to Benson. Are you still here? Hello, Benson. I'm, I'm here. I know you're a good guy. I know you don't misbehave, but I still have to ask you. Um, in your workplace, do you see uh, like sexual harassment? Do you see like men, you know, talking to women anyhow and trying to, you know, 
Oh, everybody's yeah. behaving themselves. I think everybody is behaving themselves because uh, for the past uh, three weeks, I've been training new uh, employees, new hires, new hires, and uh, the first orientation class, like the last orientation class, has to do with sexual harassment. So a long list of what not to yes, say yes. is there. A long list, so that you should be careful of what you say say to the next person. Because mm. you don't know whether the person will pick an pick offense, and if they pick offense, it might be a lawsuit that they don't yes, want so, that. So yeah. it's still there. Is there? Okay. All right. Yeah. We don't have somebody from England. So, Mama, can I ask? Um, a time of, do you work from home or do you work? Um, do you go to work? Unlike Mama, I go to work. I go oh, to you go to, oh, just like me. Yeah. So, Mama is the only lucky person. <laughs> lucky. Okay. So, do you how? How was the climate like, or uh, how, how is the like me to movement climate in England? Did it change anything, or just it was just us here in America? No, it's everywhere, you know. In fact, when you not, not just in the workplace, you know, yes. like before, you could see builders on the street can whistle at you and stuff like that. Yes, you can, you can sue them now. Yeah, that's not, that's not your workplace, you're working on the streets and they whistle at yes. you. You, yes. you can sue them, yes. so people are a bit more cautious. But I think what, what many people are saying, both men and women, is that it depends on the recipient. You can't ban everybody from whistling or cat calling or whatever because exactly. some people like it. Some people see it as a sign of compliment. But yeah. if the person has um, told or if the person tells you they don't like it, then you have to stop. Anything after that is harassment. Okay. You know, so <laughs> me, if you don't whistle to me, I will you. Me, I will whistle to you if you don't whistle to me. I'll say, ah, <laughs> I know, are you I'm serious? Not. Looking good. How many, how many, how many men, you know, okay, it probably happened, but most men don't complain about women complimenting them yes. or whistling or whatever. Never, yes. yeah, if I never. like, if I like what I see, I tell you, end yeah. of, and yeah. I move on. Yeah. 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 And my job, the guys, the guys who, who were not born here, that maybe came from Nigeria, Jamaica, or any other like Spanish countries, they still, you know, do the cat calls, they still behave as if, you know, still the same thing. Yeah, mama, go ahead. Yeah, no, you work from home. Nobody sees you. So go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you have time to do your hair anyhow you want it. <laughs> go ahead, babe. Well, actually, what I'm going to say, I think um, recognizing where we are this season, which is yeah. the International Men's Day, Day. Yeah. the political correctness has made people go mad. They assume things mad as an angry, happen. mad as an angry. No, 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 let me. I'm using the women now or the okay. female folks being mad as in raising dust where there's no dust, exactly. I, 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 accusing people of things that hasn't even happened or things that has it's not even it wasn't intended to. Um, the, uh, well, wasn't the intention for the person saying hi or waving or doing things? And so I'm tempted to get back at I worry. I worry about it. Me too. I worry about it. In as much as I have every sympathy against sexual harassment um, towards women in this instance, I have chill on both sides. I, I, I yeah, I don't I don't agree to it. But the way this has been spoken about and has been placed in the society has made so many lies and so many issues yes. yes. popping up for men. Yeah. But I've known men personally who have suffered. I know, yeah, I know. Gone I'm with to you. Court, gone to prison for what they did not do. Yeah. So and, and nobody believes them. So I feel that I have that sympathy for men, but yeah. again, all in all, all, got, all got my, my top, them all is just have to gauge your audience. Know yeah, when exactly, to say yeah. hi, when not to say hi. Some yeah. some women will look very flashy. You think they're willing for to take those compliments, or they're waiting for you to say, "Wow, what, 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 what's that?" It becomes sexual harassment. But if I'm a, as women, as women, we love to be complimented. So I don't even, you know what I mean? I don't. No, no, unless no, no, it no, goes. So. Ah, okay. I, I don't, no, no, okay. No, so. Okay. But I know, I know the people who get it so mad are the people who, like, you know, like some people, the, the women in the media industry, like they've been, you know, saying that, um, that the Ogapatapata always wants them to give in something before they will be promoted and everything. So that's, if it happens, I don't think that, you know, I mean, you should be able to promote somebody for the effort they put in and things they, you know, they have achieved and everything. So, yeah, but I think, like you said, 
I believe so many of them are so messy. You know what I mean? I see, I see certain things on TV. I'm like, you know, <laughs> just walk away. But you know, it is what it is. It's a different climate, like you said, and everything. All right, thank you. That is it for me. I'm going to hand over the baton to OJ. Sorry, IJ. Uh, sorry to interrupt you. Anyway, uh, yes. when you made mention of uh, men from back home, Caribbean and Spanish, I was wondering. The Spanish guy misbehave as in as in the sexual assault. I did not get it. Because I wouldn't call it that it's they're misbehaving. It's normal that if you're walking down the street, a guy gets culture, your attention. EJ, EJ, the word you it, want is culture. In yeah. their culture, they're not yeah. that political race. Yeah. That that's how, how, yeah, that's how we are British. British. You'll be walking down the street. If you remember in our back, Nigeria or where, wherever you grew up in, a car will be riding beside you and be like, Nne, hello. Oh, yeah. you know what i mean so people get your <laughs> that's how people got your attention and it, it was okay for us growing up but now you know it's technically um like harassment now so that's what i mean that people who who weren't raised here they still do it because that's how they grew up you know i know america certain things weren't accepted for the longest time although the now the lawsuit is a big deal yeah so mm. yeah I, I, Flo, uh, Flo, Flo, I, you get it it's about the culture Culture. Yeah, culture yeah, yeah. Are different yeah. And, and what's acceptable in one place. Yeah, yeah. Hey, and yeah. Ataibo made a great, great point. Ataibo said it also depends on the compliment. You look good is different from I want to hit that ass. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so actually, you, yeah, you yeah. meant uh, are people that come uh, from our place to this place. That's what you mean. Not the our children that have been born here. No, 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 no. Like us that grew up in Nigeria, we are used to certain things. We come here, we still yes. do the same thing. You know what I'm mean? like us now. If something falls on the floor, you're eating it. We pick it up because that's what we're used to. Our American, my American counterpart, once it falls on the floor, they will not eat it. I'm like, it's still good. There's a five second yeah. rule. Pick it up and I mm. eat it. So there are certain things where we we were, you know, we're used to. Mm. You know, yeah, yeah whether culture or not culture. Yeah. You got it? Yeah, I got it. All right, thank you, babe. Then thanks. All right, Oji. Okay. Yeah. So um going on, I believe that a child's understanding of gender roles impacts how they socialize with their peers and um form relationships and ultimately the, the man they eventually become. I would like to ask our men, what influence did the media, your family, your environment and the society play in your outlook when it comes to gender roles? Um, I'll give it to Benson. Okay, will you? <laughs> <laughs> Benson, tell me, uh, what, what mm -hmm. role did, uh, well, when growing up, okay? What role did media, your family, the environment, and the society play in your personal outlook when it comes to gender roles? I think uh, uh, the the media didn't play any role on me while growing up. Basically, let's leave me let's leave by, only let TV by five pm. <laughs> no, I, 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 I've always not be, I've always not been a TV person. person yeah. yeah, but that's the thing. Yeah. A lot of us didn't gain that TV. Um, what do you call it? That TV Influence. culture, because you would have to, when you come back from school, depending on what time you come back, it's either you're doing homework. In fact, there's no TV to watch. Like no day, TV, uh -huh. TV doesn't start <laughs> till 4 p.m., okay? Then I remember during the holidays, we'll be outside playing, then any little thing, you go and check. The moment that rainbow comes up, everybody comes to see. Even if it takes 30 minutes for the programs to start. Yes. You know, so I think that's why we have a little bit of um, constraint and discipline when it comes to TV. Now you watch what you want to watch, but we can't say the same for these people. So I get it when you say no. the media didn't play any role for you. So what about yeah, um, my the family, society, they, your family? Mm -hmm. they, my family played a lot because okay. I could remember growing up. I, I could remember growing up as a first song. I will always be brought into the kitchen. Oh, wow, that's good. Come on, come and do this. Yes, come and do this. Yes. Oh, come and do this. See, you see why I'm so confident and I'm waiting for my uh -oh. <laughs> you know, I will soon poke you. <laughs> so oh my, I, will always, I, I will always be drawn to the kitchen. Come and help me do this, do that, do that. Even uh, when we were in, 
Kwara State, a lorry, we had okay. some restaurants. Sometimes they don't know that my mother traveled, but I'll be the one cooking. Oh, wow. Aww. Am I so one of the days, one of, one of the days, one of the customers uh, was in and was asking me, oh, I've not seen your mom for the past week. I said, she's around. I just said she's around. Mm. But unfortunately for me, as I just said she's around, my mom came the back mom from arrived. the east and walked <laughs> and, and arrived and came into. So the mom was like, you said your mom was around. Uh, but she look at luggages and so on. I said, well, and I asked my mom, who have been cooking? He said, the person you are talking to have been doing the cooking. So I think my family had a lot of roles on me growing up. Which is good. Positive Which one. Good. A very positive one. Okay. What about your environment and the society at large? Environment, environment can change me. No matter the, you, that, that, you, that you are doing this. But the issue is that I've been sort of uh, disciplined right from time. Mm -hmm. So whatever that you are doing this or that the society is doing this will not make me to join in that. No, I will mm -hmm. not. Okay. Because there is a way I view, there is a way I view things. I, I view my own things differently. That's me. In mm -hmm. my, my, younger bro, my younger brothers didn't grow like me. They have their Why? own way of life. Uh, they, they have their own way of life, which most times they will tell you, ah, if they want to talk to me, they'll say, hmm, wait till Pastor, Pastor Ben is here. Yeah. <laughs> they'll, say, they'll say, wait till Pastor Ben is here. I get that. So when they say, when they just say Pastor Ben is here, I will laugh and I'll walk away. I will pretend as if and I don't know them. what they are. Yes, I will not interfere. After, later, I will now tell you, look, oh, that direction you were going, think well, before going into that direction, I'll leave you and walk away. Oh, that's nice. That's really, really nice. Thank you, Benson. So, um, Onyem, are you there? Yes. Okay. Hey, well, Chris, I'm not yes. Onyem. Yes, now. <laughs> <laughs> I was kind of confused. No, 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 no. no, no. Um, we accept that one. No problem. We okay. accept. <laughs> and you don't even know the origin of, of Onyema. You don't even know when he became Onyema. I don't want to know. You know, even to his wife, his wife knows he's my Onyema. <laughs> if I will investigate later, we'll, we'll find out. I'm on go. <laughs> okay, so um, back to my question. What influence did the media, your family, the environment, and the society at large have on your outlook when it comes to gender roles? No. Ah, lawyer, don't pause. <laughs> I, I said no. No, you said no. no. No, oh, oh okay, yes. sorry, I didn't get it. I thought he said, oh. No, so, so I was <laughs> That's what I had to. <laughs> uh, no, no, unless you want me to respond. Okay, so tell me yeah, what you your can. views are. You can just elaborate for me. Because About you know what? that I've, I've always felt that um, the way you are brought up has a lot to do with how you turn out. Granted, when you grow up, you choose your path, okay? But believe you me, there are things that I still do today because of the way I was brought up. And um, I've made a yeah, I've made a conscious effort. I always, when people say to me, "Oh, I like how close you are to your daughter," I tell them I'm trying to bring her up differently. Yes. Okay, my mom would always say to you, "Oh, whatever it is, tell me." But whatever it is, it depends on the gravity. I'm off <laughs> you you understand? You would get. Uh, I mean, Ik is a living testimony of how many times you, she. My mom doesn't need to talk; she just points that way, and you know you're supposed to go and kneel down and raise your hand. You know, so and <laughs> I tell my children, talk to me. I want to know. I want to be in the know. That wasn't how I was brought up, but I chose to bring up my children like this. Yeah. So I feel that no matter what anybody says, that's why I coined my question like this. I feel that your upbringing or your family has a lot to do with certain things and aspects of life, how you, your outlook and how you react to things. So Onyem has said that none, none of those things had influenced. Well, him. maybe you should elaborate so, to Onyem. Yeah, Did so your that's mom why I want to, to ask him teaching? now. No, no, no. Yeah. What I want to ask him now is to tell me what his views are 
his views aren't influenced by anything. So they are his personal the, views. Views so regarding what? what? Gender okay. roles. Gender uh, roles I, as, as concerns the men, whether it is in your family, whether it is in the workforce, whether it is socially, how do you look at yeah. gender roles? Yeah, for people who know me very well, I there is no I'm gender neutral when it comes to, especially when I walk into my house home. If I walk into my house, like I know my kitchen more than my wife. You know, mm -hmm. I'm a handsome person. Uh, like uh, Ben. I can uh, ben, testify. Like Benson was saying when the mother traveled, my wife was in Nigeria early this year for three months. We didn't buy food from outside. I was cooking for my son. So we ate at home. I, from my work, I was, luckily I was working at home. So I will go and make food for him. And I sat him down, I was telling him, say, hey, you gotta learn all these things. I learned how to do it now so that I can provide for you, cook for you, make it easy for you, because tomorrow you are going to do the same thing for your children. And oh, so, sorry, Chris, Chris, before yeah. you go very far, what brought you to that level? It, it, it was- Is it America it, or it, how you well, were brought up? It's, it's not America, it was, because we didn't learn how to do those things from America. We learned how to do it from, I used to like every, every Saturday, if you guys, for you guys are lived in Abba, we go to Ariara market. So I follow my auntie to the market. So if you buy yam, we'll keep it at Mama Chinwe. We'll go buy Obu, <laughs> we'll, bring, we'll have a central point. So that yes, when yes, we get that's to true. point, I know all those places. And then when we come back, we we'll prepare. I used to tease women in Nigeria. I say what they do is mixing. We prepare how everything about cooking. Unlike here, you will prepare everything from the from the leaves, the grinding the peppers and everything. But in Nigeria, we do all those. Things. Even set the spoon. All the lady will come have to do is just to come in and mix everything and go back to the couch and say. After five minutes, come and call me or this, and they have cooked. <laughs> and so true. Yeah, right. That gave me, you know, like every man in my house, you can say that we all know how to cook. That's yes. the way we were raised. So the issue of, oh, is your woman, your wife, or so that I has to cook for you? Yeah. Yeah, it's technically right, you know, but. The way I do it is, if I am disposed, if I'm at home and my wife is at work, I make sure I have food ready for her, not as a must, because of love. Uh, uh -oh. my, wife cannot, my wife cannot come back and ask me, where is my food? But I'll make sure I have it. I can come back, she can come back from work, and I'll be home all day, playing video games all day. She'll come back and say, where is my food? And she don't, doesn't have to fight it. But I don't do it that way. What I do is she's been out, I've been here, I can boil rice, I can, you know, make something so that when she comes back, instead of going into the kitchen, then she will have something to eat. One, you are being practical and then you are practicing love because love is not necessarily on Valentine's Day or, you know, on that person's special day. So I, I don't look at, oh, it's a woman's role to do this, anything that, Walks. What I do. Okay. Oh, so sorry. Can I ask? Okay. Can I? Sorry. Yeah. Okay, sorry. Can I say something, Chris? Okay. I, I have questions. Go ahead. Okay. Yeah. Ask Mama. I just you can answer. You know, it, 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 the plural form of of men is men's. So all these men's that will tell you no. It's the place of the woman to get the food ready. All of that, I chair. All of that, she will make the food. Do eat it. You think I go eating her thing? I vote for that, they're not hungry. Yeah. You know what I tell people? Just because I can do it doesn't mean it's enough. It's one is upbringing and it's who you are. Yeah. yeah. Most people, remember when we were growing up, if you see a man in the kitchen, you chase that person away. And you're not supposed to be in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. And they didn't know how to do farm. And yeah. now they are coming back to hunt them. Yes. Sometimes their, their wife will say, oh, my husband doesn't help. He doesn't know how, how to do it. It's not because he's a bad husband. He wasn't raised that way. Yeah, you're and right. It because he was a jabot or whatever you call it. Now it's coming back because we are living in a society 
where you have to do everything yourself. Yeah. No house help, no nothing. And then they will complain that their husband is not helping. How would he help? He doesn't know how to do that. All right, Chris, let me ask you something. This is about gender role because gender role is not only about um, kitchen. Um, growing yeah. up, girls were uh, like taught how to talk to guys. You can't talk to him like that. He's a man. Oh, okay, call. You know what I mean? You have to learn how to talk to a man. So you mentioned something, and I'm, and I'm going to, uh, like, you know, okay. rope in this. With, uh, you said you make rice for your wife. Like, if you know you've been home and she's out walking, you know, before she comes back, you're going to make something. But that's not, nah, um, like, she, she's not going to come back ask, where is my food? Which is what you guys do. You know what I mean? So yeah. you already cooked that food. Or, but whether you cook it or not, what if she comes back and says, ah, ah Chris, where is my food? Will you take it? Like, as in she's disrespectful because we Nigerian women, we see that our men, when we ask certain questions, the same questions you guys ask, you know, yeah, the quacker. I'm not trying to like argue for the woman, but yeah. like you mentioned that she's not going to ask you, but what if she she did ask you, will you take offense to that? Yeah, if she comes back, depending on the tone. Okay. I can say, nah, what did you cook for me? Do you have any, any food for me? You know, in a joking mm -hmm. way or so. But she can't come and demand. Authoritatively. I remember when I was in law school in, in New York here. Yeah. So we were in a common room, and it's all these Africa, African American ladies, and they know me. And, you know, I'm always so. So we were talking about the role of women. I told them because when you make argument, especially for me, I start from the general and then narrow it down. I said generalists. The, role of a woman to provide, to nurture uh, the family, the husband, the cook. But it doesn't mean I cannot come to my house and choose how it's going to be. That was why I said, I can stay at home playing video games all day. My wife will go to work all day and she comes back. She's not going to ask me where is her. I can say, I'm hungry. What do you have? She can go into the kitchen. but. Remember that this person now is my wife. And I said, I love her. I know she's been out and I'm here and I can do it. So why don't I go and do it? Instead of just sitting down because it's her role yeah. or it's women, okay? So okay. even doing laundry, doing every other thing, I mean, talking to somebody, you have to, if you want to get respect, you have to speak to somebody in a respectful manner. It doesn't necessarily have to be, or you don't have to be condescending when you're addressing the opposite sex. That's why most of the things they say men are this, when you discuss domestic violence or you discuss no real man, because one of the things you guys say, no real man will raise uh, his hand on the wife. He's a coward, yeah. So I was given an instance, uh, like I went out in the morning, I went to work. So it's snowing, I came back like, in the night, 10, 11. So for some reason, you are my mother-in-law. You are sitting in the living room in the house. So we had issues and my wife was like, you know, she became abusive and then pushed me out and, you know, trying to go, go wherever it is. is, is, is. And before I could know, she pushed me out. She, maybe she hit me or something like that. Mm. If you are my mother, you will not know when you will get up and you know, fight back my wife. Yeah. But we go all and say, no real man. So would you go, go in and sleep and let your son be out on a snowy night in the cold with nowhere to go to? So we are human beings before we are, we are, we are human beings. We have our emotions. Of course. Right. You know, you try as much as possible. So you have to, in situations like that, what you have to do is delve into what is going on? Just because you push me into a gutter, you want me to fall into a gutter or to fall into uh, a river where there is shark oh, infested oh. or crocodile infested, and you don't want me to fight back to answer a real man. So, no, if it's, if it's self defense, man or woman, so, I don't like to be so, getting it. So we have yeah. to take everything mm -hmm. case by case. That's why if, if we don't want to, do play gender or everything to be gender neutral. We have to, you know, when people, two people have issues, we have to say what's going on. And that's the only way 
you know, that we can combat domestic violence and try to look at the issues instead of just sweeping or waving it away. Oh, you are not a real man. Why would you raise your hand? You know, meanwhile, we have four boys. So how would you want your boys to be treated? Mm -hmm. I, I can go on and on because this is like yeah. all these but, like, I mean, anyways. Yeah. Again, adding to the um, I mean, that celebra celebratory mood for men, for the International Men's Day, some men, let me let you into this secret, you may know, you may not know, most of your women do not let you lift a finger at home, want to, wants to do everything at home, there are women that have chosen that, don't worry, I'm not, I don't want my husband, he shouldn't bother, I'll do it, cha 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 cha. One of the reasons I've heard behind that is because they want their men to be dependent on them. If I let him into the kitchen and he makes paper soup and I tell him what ingredients I use, tomorrow, if I make it, he will not appreciate it. So I won't always be on the, um, at the top. I want to be- It's needy people. Needy, needy, needy people, people who so are needy. There are people like that. So that's uh, uh, another, another okay. reason why it happens. Yeah. Okay, so before I ask um, another guy, the, um, Rosemary, you want to add something? Okay. Um, in that case, I would like to ask Chidi. Chidi Lemchi. Hello, Chidi, can you hear me? Okay. Yes, I can hear you. Good evening. Okay. Hi, Good evening. Welcome, welcome to, the to the show. Good to Hello. have you here. So I saw, you when you, I saw when you came in and um, this show is in honor of our men because of how much we love them. Yesterday was International Men's Day. So we had finished with the first topic, with the first question. And um, my question right now is, what influence did the media your family, your environment, and the society at large. What influence did all these things play in your outlook when it comes to gender roles? Mm, okay, so um, first of all, I want to thank you ladies for uh, this platform. You're doing a great job. Uh, thank I'm a you huge so fan. much. Huge, thank huge you. Fan. Um, this platform reminds me of the view. ABC on the view. For those of you in the States, I'm sure you watch. This. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. I'm a huge fan of the view. So each time I see the view, I remind, I remind, my mind comes to Uche Kitchen. Oh, okay. oh thank, so, you. thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank so, you. Um, so um, to be honest with you, personally, um, I don't, um, I don't uh, draw any sort of uh, inspiration whatsoever uh, from uh, the media um, when it comes to how I view the female folk. Uh, I, 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 I rather differ to personal experience you know, to, as to how I, I deal with the uh, female folk or uh, how I shape my perspective about the female folk. However, that's not to say that the media uh, and by media, I mean social media, uh, doesn't play um, a major role in how people shape their perspective, especially the men folk, a perspective about the opposite gender. You know, uh, we live in a time when um, people actually take uh, advice, take, um, uh, draw inspiration uh, from social media. In fact, a lot of social media influencers, albeit, uh, uh, the ones we call radical feminists, hugely impact, uh, whether positively or negatively, on a lot of a lot of people. You know, so personally, I don't draw I don't draw inspiration from. I just read, see what people, people's opinions, and then move on. Some I comment some. I just I just laugh over it and move on. Okay, so what about um your family? What how did your upbringing help you with gender roles and stuff? Did it play any oh, role? Yes, 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 yes. A, a very huge one. Um, so as a, as, a, as a man married, uh, 11 years married, when I tell people this, they, they, when I, what I want to say now, when I say it to people, they are like, are you sure? Are you, are you sure you're not lying? You know, but that's the truth. 
I've been ele- married for 11 years. I can't remember when last my wife washed the, my clothes. When I mean my clothes, clothing boxers or in that way or whatever. Um, because while growing up, uh, we are four boys and two girls. And my mom had zero house help. Uh, even up to today, uh, I still have uh, a thing or two about house help. I, I left for me, I wouldn't want us to live uh, with any house help. The times have changed, and of course, I live in Lagos, uh, where you need house help to look after kids. So when we're growing up, uh, my mom forced us to do things by ourselves and for ourselves. Forced us or made so you? Was, or made us, <laughs> yes. Uh, she was teaching you. Things, uh, yes. So I learned how to cook at but the very early stage. You saw it as forced. Oh, yeah, me too. Uh, yeah, I was, she yeah, she oh, forced yeah, me. Oh, yeah. I was forced oh, to. Yeah. I'm with you on that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you'll be sleeping they wake you up oh lord jesus yeah, absolutely <laughs> so, so i i let i learned uh, how to cook uh, early i learned how to do uh, all that and of course as the first uh, son and first child i grew way 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 very fast you know uh, yes. faster than my siblings so, so I'm domesticated up to today. Yes, we have house, but I clean my bedroom, make my bed, uh, wash my clothes. We have washing machine. When I go to the washing machine and the kids' clothes are already are there, I just come back to the bathroom, wash the thing myself, I go to where I'm going to. You know, sometimes my house up is even embarrassed when she sees me coming to hang those clothes out, out there. She's like, yeah. oh, that make I do and I say, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. And I'll do it myself. Sometimes she comes to um um, comes to the bathroom to clean. I say, please go out to handle it myself. So because it's become a part of me. So growing up, family to a large extent, you know, uh, uh, played a huge, huge uh, role on how uh, shaped my outlook about uh, growing up. And today, to be honest with you, uh, my my youngest is four. The guy where the guy the guy gets angry when you ask him not to do something because what has happened is he sees his elderly ones. Uh, they uh, do, things I stand, do things themselves so he wants to also do that he feels he should be doing that also you know so 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 that's that's the to the extent that my upbringing you know has helped in shaping yeah okay yes if i in the state where i live uh, when i see people are telling their house helps to wash cat cars i it jolts me i have fun washing washing car i go downstairs wash my car myself and drive off so, because I used to do all those things as as when when growing up, you should be living here. Then you wouldn't have any problem because you do you do and die. <laughs> you <laughs> be pregnant. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> okay, thank you so much, Chidi. And um, I hope your your visit to our show is not a one off. We hope to see more of you. Um, no, 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 okay. no, it won't be. <laughs> okay, thank you so much. Um, I would like to um ask Kudo Chuku. We have 10 minutes, Mama. Okay. I just wanted to give him a chance because he's the other guy that is here, but I think he even walked away from his um, device. Rosemary had something to say. Who knows? The dude who may be, may be going to put something in the washing machine, you know? Or uh, put rice on fire. Who knows? That one is Who always knows? traveling. That one is never home. I doubt if he does anything, but you could ask him. Mama, you can take him on. <laughs> take him on. <laughs> Okay then, Rosemary, do you want to say something still? Rosemary, yeah. Rosemary, are you still there? Okay, Mama, over to you. Yep. And Rosemary um, have a problem to... unmuting herself. I don't know. I tried unmuting, I couldn't. So, if oh, Mama, go on with your topic. Okay. And my question is around emotional pains of life. Um, men, gentlemen on the panel, please, without comparing, because the next thing we hear, you women, I don't want to hear that, without comparing, using your OB Jesus, right? Tell me, is it true that men, the men's folk are heartless? And this is drawn from business interactions you have with men, fellow men and women, and again, relationship experiences. Is it true? That men are heartless. Ben Ben, you're laughing at me. Tell me. What do you heartless think? as in love, heartless as in um, heartless romantic said, experience. Even in business, business okay. and relationship, what with everything men has done to people, including myself, we believe that men are heartless. 
Who's going to defend that? Is that true? Ben Ben. I can't hear you, Ben. What's going on? Ben Fee does sleep off. No, no, he's talking, but we can't hear him. Is he on? Is he? He's not on mute. Ben, if it, okay, while you're trying to sort that out, I think I've called to Dojku again. Ben, let me speak to Dojku. Dojku. Oh, Ataibo, Ataibo already, uh, Ataibo already attacked you. How can you ask that? <laughs> Dojku, the question is, is it true that men are heartless? And we, had, we have this belief based on what we've heard about business interactions with other people, men and other people, where they shoot and kill and do all sorts and um, relationship experiences people have had with men. So are we right to say, or people who have said it, that men are heartless, is it true? And the Dutch ran away. <laughs> I asked the Dutch but he ran away. <laughs> Chris, do you want to bail us out? Benson, can, the question too hard though. Uh, no man, they here. He can nice here, he can nice here. Chris, Chris is here. Chris, please, can you help us? Uh, the question is as general as he gets, but um, then, then we can still not hear you. Mm -hmm. Go on. This is one of those things I don't say. It's it's gender neutral. Being heartless is gender neutral. You have to. Some... No, no, exactly. Chris. I said not compare, no comparison. Just speak it's... for this side. Okay. One side. No. No. Mm -hmm. No. Men are human beings. You have. Good ones to have, uh, you can make a blanket statement. It's oh, okay, so it's not true. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Absolutely. Thank you. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Absolutely yeah. untrue, too. Hey, is people are very serious. <laughs> what did Chidi say? Okay, okay, what do you have to say? Absolutely untrue. It's not true. That meant so, can you it. guys elaborate? Can't say it not true. So, can you guys? Elaborate and give us instances no, why no, Informa no, is wrong. Men cry. Can men you prove Informa wrong? What to prove that men cry? Yes. 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 Said men cry, and I agree men with you. Men oh, have, cry. Men have emotions too. They, of course, yes. Have, I know how many times. Cry. I know how many times personally I have cried when oh, I run into, into situations that. I cry because I want to see my mom. Do you cry <laughs> because of your said, well, or do you cry because of your emotions. relationship or because of your children? Because men will cry for their children. They will cry because they lost a job. But when they are fighting with their I women, they will also cry. cry when their mom dies. Mm -hmm. IJ. OJ. Yes. IJ. Mm -hmm. They cry for their women when they lose their girlfriends too. You put on the demo. They are side chicks. They are side chicks. Is it side chicks or actual girlfriends? I don't, cry for, well, I don't cry for a relationship, but. Hey, I, I don't. I get, I get I, emotional I, when my son is involved. I, you know, so, when, I, when I look at some certain things, I have dialogue with him. I look at him. I say, I can see a reflection of me, and you know what the future, you know, has for him. Uh, sometimes, if I'm traveling, going to be away for a long time, I feel I, I miss him. You know, so I get emotional. But what I don't yeah. do is crying for love. You know, heartbreak or so. You just have to, you know. Be no. So, I'm not coming. Is there any difference? Okay. Mama, we're going to be back. Chidi, hold on. Chidi, I'll call you in in a minute. Yeah, when Chris finishes. Yeah. So generally, I'm an emotional person. We have some, you know, men that are like that. You know, we get a lot of attention every now and then. So it's it's not true to say that men are heartless, but some are, you know, just like human beings. So since you're emotional, it means you cry when you're doing it. When I'm doing it, no, I don't cry when I'm doing it. No, if I'm, if I'm, if I'm a pet, then I should ask. No, no, I don't. I don't cry when I'm doing it. <laughs> no, 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 no. no. <laughs> Okay, um, I, wanted, I wanted to ask something when somebody when men say that they are also emotional, uh, you know, you know that people not, can not only talk really, based on uh, what they Mabandu. see. Um, uh? Because I wanted to ask, when men say that they are emotional as well, are you emotional in the sense that when, when you're having a hard time, you go into your room, lock your door, when you finish crying, you come out and clean your eyes? Or are you able to let your significant other, who happens to be a woman, or even you, you know, your colleagues, see, yes, see you in, that, in that vulnerable stage? 
This is only uh, talking to us, so I think he's on the phone. I'm trying to mute <laughs> him, yeah. I just muted him. Okay. So what, what I'm trying to understand, because you know that we can only, um, let me not use the word judge, but we can only conclude based on what we see. There are people who have never seen their male friends cry, okay? And then based on also the kind of bosses they and colleagues they have at work, they came to this conclusion that men are very hard hearted. So I'm trying to ask the men among us who have said that they are also emotional people. Have you been able to show either your friend, your wife, your colleagues that something got to you so badly, not in the case of death because death can move anybody at any time. But when right. something happens and maybe you're having a hard time at work or you had a, 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 um, a rift with your wife or whoever, and then you come into the office, somebody says, hey, it looks like you're, you're not okay. You say, oh, no, I'm okay, I'm okay. Is that what you do? Or would you talk to that person? And if you feel like crying, would you be able to cry? Because this is someone you trust and you, you, you would want to, you know, let it all out, let off some steam as a human being. Would you do that? Yes, Benson, I don't want to ask you. Let me ask Chris first. Yes, I do. Okay. So you, that means you are human and then you have your dispute that men are not heartless is valid. Who else? Who else is going to you know answer this, this question? You know this, you know this concept of men are heartless is actually the reason why suicide is... Um, Suicide rate on the side of men. You Thank know, you for bringing that up, Chede. Yeah. Of the yeah. women. Because, yeah. because society yeah. believes that, oh, I'm a man, I shouldn't cry, I should man up. Thank you. I yeah. should uh, keep, keep, keep you know, be die. I should be dying, but I should, I should yeah. still be tough. It, that is wrong. That's why a lot of us men go through some tough times, you know, mm -hmm. difficult situations. I mean, it doesn't necessarily have to and be- And the financial burden to put on men, the financial burden put on men makes them, yeah. Absolutely, yes. absolutely. So, so yes. He, he's crying inside, but he can't cry outside Out, because yes. if he cries outside, his wife is going to laugh at him. We don't, though, we don't. We don't, we even don't. I don't know why you guys don't know. We would never. No, no, no. You would never. No, no, no. To be vulnerable with me and show me what he's feeling. If I'm mama did no, anything, I think if I'm mama no. See, you know, exceptions <laughs> and exceptions. OJ, this is an exception. You are an exception, you know, but but you are an exception, but that's not the general thing that applies in society. In society, they tell you a man shouldn't cry, and that's the truth. That's how we raise our sons. So you tell yourself, be a man, be take care. No, no. Are you raising your son like that, Chide? I didn't raise my son no, 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 like no, no, that. No, 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 no. I'm not I'm not. That's doing that. how we, you know. our generation, were raised. Were raised, were raised. Are you, yes. I, yes, absolutely. So you have more people of our generation also who are raising their kids that way. No. They're I raising their sons raise that way. Kids that so way because see, you see, I you see, you, you need to be vulnerable. It, it, exactly. There's a, there's a level of strength that comes from vulnerability, especially if you're vulnerable before your spouse or vulnerable before a confidant, you know, you, you can cry before the person and the person tells you, look, there's strength in crying. When you cry, I'm you let you. off the steam. I mean, there's some sort of healing that comes from crying. It and cleanses, it cleanses your soul. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so um, thank you, Chidi. Like I, I was saying, I would prefer my man to be vulnerable with me because I am pouring out my heart to you and telling you everything that disturbs me. Why can't you do the same for me? So I opt for men being, if you are happy, fine. If you're sad, I want to know. And I tell my boys, I tell my, my two sons, whatever it is, cry. If you feel like crying, please cry. When you're done crying, you wipe your eyes and then you get on with whatever it is and tackle it. It doesn't matter who is watching. If you are pushed to that extent, because people have had several issues from bottling up things. And I don't know who started that uh, notion of be a man, don't, uh, don't cry and stuff like that. That, that person has a warped thinking. No, and no, that no, is can I say something? Yeah, you can now. Yeah, Chris, okay, one minute. Thank you. Sorry, I've been on the call. Um, mm. The issue why most of Why are you crying? Me? 
Mm. Uh, so will tell you now, if I commit right from house, I'll go to my room and sleep first before I come and collect the can. That's natural for me. <laughs> but as a man, an anxiety of life has been. The issue is this. If you tell your spouse, what the situation on the ground is most times. They misunderstand you and they take the anxiety from you and worsen your situation. Example. Times, ah, something might happen to you now and um, let's say you're under pressure for something, maybe at work or maybe something you need to get done with. And you come home and you tell your wife and you say, ah, babe, um, I need this, so I need to do this, so I need to do this. You that is under pressure, you're trying to organize yourself. The next minute, the woman starts crying, putting you under pressure. How would okay. you do? Okay, that, I gotcha. That's what you mean. I mean. So is that why you hide your own emotions? So it doesn't why? create problem for the other person? Be because me, naturally, I don't like what gives me stress. I'm a book watching now. And me I don't have to and I don't have BP. So I don't want to have BP even at old age. Mm. So I will not tell you. When you sleep, I'll come to this, my small study, and think about it and, you know, try to get solutions to the problem. But telling you, when you forget it, it will not Okay, forget it, forget it. <laughs> but I think I, um, I, I, don't, I, don't think, I don't think that's necessarily true because women are problem solvers. When you come home mm -hmm. and say, babe, oh, this is I the first that. thing a woman does is, how are we going to do this? She can even call her friends. I, I say, no, Jude, what is going on? Yeah. Jude, we'll start crying first. Yeah. No, 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 no. Uh, I'll you go we'll start crying. Oh, okay, I'll you're okay. That's you why you, you have this perception because of what you go. Uh, exactly. If I'll never uh, cry, if I'll be start looking for solution uh, immediately. <laughs> Likewise, uh, me. Uh, we'll chest them. We'll chest them. How will they do it? Uh, I, yeah, I think so, we'll Sorry, can I? Yeah, Chris, can go Chris on. Say I want something? to ask Ike something. Go on, Chris. I think we are mixing up something here. Yeah. yeah. Confiding in your spouse or your friend is different from you showing emotions. You're like talking that. about men at their happy level. Yes, yes, no, it's a no-brainer that when you have things you discuss, unless the trust is not there. But if something happens, I go to my wife and show emotion, maybe I teared up or so, and then we'll have quarrel in Asia and say, This man, every time you'll be crying. That's a that, that's cry, a last. Cry, cry, that's, baby. That is the last you are going that to is the, that's a very big insult <laughs> for you. Okay. <laughs> But, and then if I have, if I confide in you things and instead of you, you know, advising me or trying to encourage me and you use it against me when we, I, that's the last. So in every relationship, if you don't get the that's trust, the last you cry. That's the so last, that's I the last you go to her. So, yeah. so, so it's human thing. So the first few years in the marriage or in the relationship will determine how you communicate. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So if I start by this is this is this is this is, this is a light this is a light bulb moment, Chris. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, this mm -hmm. last statement you make it your last mm -hmm. first few months to determine how you can make it. Yeah. It makes a lot of sense. Mm -hmm. So if, okay, if you uh, are not supportive, mm -hmm. you are not I will come back to no, you. No, let Chris it's let not, Chris come down. Yeah. It's not our ego. You know, when men are not supposed to cry and you go eat up and you know you tear up, you try to you know open up to your partner, your wife. And then she betrays you. I don't think you will go back to her. You can have a bestie, somebody you can talk to and open up. I agree. Wife. I'm, I'm okay. behind you, Dave. So okay, if oh, you wanted to ask me something. Yeah, yeah no, um, um, yeah. no, I think Chris, Chris has said something, obviously. Um, but I think the essence of today and what we see with statistics, men, it is it doesn't matter who is looking at you. It is okay for you to cry because she just said it earlier, the suicidal rate has gone up and it's more on the male side. side. Mm -hmm. Domestic abuse okay. is more on the men's side as well. But we don't listen, we don't hear these things. We don't, they don't say it enough. 
but it is true. So it's it okay is. for you to be sad. It's okay for you to show emotions. It's okay for you to tell people, I am down. Please help pick no, me no, up no, and no. things like that. No, no, no. We are not and I don't think you should use people. because now a woman will throw things back at you because men throw no, no, things no. back at us too. You tell no, no, when no, you meet no, a man, no, you, you no, tell no, a man no, what I'm saying. No, no. They throw. So I think when you're having a quarrel, it's a survival of the fittest thing. Everybody wants to throw stones. Yeah. And I think yeah, yeah, after yeah, the quarrel, you guys should make up and make up. So I understand. I I understand you on that, and I agree totally with you. But what I'm saying is emotions if i like this morning any act of kindness moved me and what i go in my private and and share the tears and because my tear is always it's not far from me so Please, i want you to do it in public no, 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 no. you know you know this thing i can't be when i'm down now you'll be asking me what is sometimes you can't i can't explain to you what's going on but if I can hear your voice. Your voice is cracking right now, please. If, if it happens down there, if, if we were here, something happens, well, Onyem can, I don't mean to put her on the spot, but Onyem can tell you. Exercise, yeah. Conversation and she can tell in real time who Chris is in terms yeah. of emotion. I, I lay it out there. You know, so if something happens there and I have to show my emotions, something is going on, we see somebody, you know, maybe an accident or we witness something. There you you show your emotions. But mm -hmm. it's not that if I see something, I'm watching a movie or some act of kindness or something, and then I'll go to my wife and start crying. No. So if it happens, <laughs> yeah, I have to, you know, sometimes in my quiet moment, I have to let off steam. All right, so life happens like that. But if, if you come to me and tell me something and then we are pouring, I know you have to go all out. And I use that thing repeatedly against you. I don't think you find a friend you can confide in. Men mm -hmm. have you. If that, you know, so when you say a man is crying, the wife, regardless of the circumstances, the man is not going to see you feel very bad. I think you guys should cry more because once you cry more, once you cry for the woman, the first thing she'll do, hold your head and put it here. And from there, you can imagine what will, what you happen. You have a happy ending. So I think men crying is a is a Win win. I'm telling yeah, you. Because yeah, the yeah, next thing should be like, oh, babe, you know, you know, carry you. your your head automatically goes on her bosom. Automatically. So let's be honest, let's be honest, there's something you're missing out. It depends on when they're crying, not when they've been caught doing something. It's yeah. not know. At work, what do you have to say? Is, when there's time for crying. Can I say again? Happy <laughs> men's international men's day. We still have you in our hearts. And I'll be honest with you, we're doing some back, 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 back office chat. We're remembering all the men we see on our show. We're talking about, uh, we call them uh, Oche Chicken. Hey, Oche Chicken. Oche Chicken. Oche Chicken. Oche Chicken. Oche Chicken. Men. Yes, sir. <laughs> and we're happy to hold you. We're happy to keep your head there. Anytime you're crying, cry on our shoulders. Talk to us. I don't cry. But I like the men to cry. I am. I am and you make them less. cry. I'm such a, we, we try. We try I, to I, make I, them I, cry. You had, had a question for me. You can, I don't worry. We'll ask that question. We're going offline now so we can continue okay. the show. Thank you very much for being a part of today's show and join us sometime next week for an interesting one. We love you all. Stay back. Bye, everybody. Over time. Bye.